Another nice win for your team, and in your mind, what was the story of this win here today? Well, I think Justin pitched very well again. He got a little tired at the end, but I thought uh, that's a few starts in a row where he's really gone deep in the game and gave us a chance. In terms of his stuff today and the way he was mixing his pitches, what were you seeing from him? He mixed him very well, actually. He's, it's the same thing we've seen the last three starts. He's got a good fastball that's getting on guys. Uh, we're getting some swings and misses still on the fastball. He mixed in the curveball, I think, a little bit more today, and he used the slider quite a bit. Um, he did an excellent job. You, gotta, you know, you pitch that team in the game, you're, out, you're doing something right. 2,000 career strikeouts. Uh, what kind of a milestone is that? Uh, I mean, that's a pretty good accomplishment, quite frankly. You should be very proud of it. Um, I'm probably one or two of them, quite, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure he would have got there without me. <laughs> you look at the offense today, um, whereas the last couple of days it was that one beginning today. You, you guys were able to spread some of the scoring out. How much was, was that helpful? Yeah, it, it, it doesn't really matter how you do it. We did. We exploded yesterday late in the game. Um, today was it was spread out as a run here, a couple runs there. But uh, the good thing is we're still continuing to hit, and uh, you know, that's what we, we're hoping that this team does on a fairly regular basis. You're going to have some downswings, but uh, it seems like we've turned the corner a little bit offensively since the last game in Baltimore, and hopefully it carries right through the next series. How well is Kinsler seeing the ball right now, and are you impressed or surprised by the amount of power you're showing? No, I mean if you if you look at his his baseball pass. He's done this before. He's hit home runs before. He's had years where he's hit a few uh, less, but he's also had some years where he's up in the 30 range. So um, he has the power in him. And uh, you just never know with, with home runs. I mean, they, they come in spurts. You just never know when they're going to come. Brad, four straight wins for this team. Got to feel pretty good right about now, too, right? Uh, but a lot better than it did a week ago. What's What's been the difference? Offensively, pitching, everything coming together at the same time? or? Yeah, I think it's, you know, Previously, it was always one part of our game that was was hurting us or, or beating us or causing us to lose. And uh, whether it was the bullpen one day or starting pitching one day or the offense one day, um, now we're getting we're getting those things to kind of those three things to work together. We, we're getting the runs, our starters are going deep into games, and, and the bullpens uh, keeping the lead. After 16 straight games, I assume tomorrow is going to be a much deserved day off. Yeah, uh, the. Days off in the baseball season are very coveted by players, so I'm sure they'll enjoy it. They'll probably sleep in a little later. Uh, most of them just veg around uh, the house and watch TV or catch a movie. It's, uh, it's nice to be able to, to not have to think about baseball for a day and then get back to it on Friday. You've already maybe answered this, but just uh, what made you think it would be a good idea, a cool idea to kind of donate your hoodie and your hat to charity? And Can you just kind of talk about that? I, uh, it really was my idea. I actually had a couple people mention it to me so uh, and I figured well if it's going to be wor worth something to a charity it might as uh, it's a good cause so it's uh, um, you know I don't know if I'm proud of the tirade but it, let's let's get let's squeeze something good out of it